This lesson addresses conversion from the old Quadus tool for quality assessment to the Quadus 2 tool, which is now available in Revmen 5.2 or 5.3. Please note that this lesson was developed prior to the release of Revmen 5.3, and so the screenshots were all taken using Revmen 5.2. There is no difference between the two versions of Revmen in how the conversion process works. There are a number of steps involved in developing a Cochrane Diagnostic Test Accuracy Review. This lesson within the Improve and Update module is only applicable to an existing DTA review that used the old Quadra still for quality assessment. Revman currently supports the old Quadras and Quadras 2 tools, but not both simultaneously. Though not yet mandatory for reviews with a published protocol, it is advisable to convert to Quadus 2 because the next major release of Revman will not provide the dual support. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to convert the quality assessment tool in a review from Quadus to Quadus 2 and will be able to make changes to the characteristics of included studies table. Also, you'll be introduced to the improved functionality for producing graphs of risk of bias and applicability concerns. This lesson consists of three sections. The first section describes the conversion process. The second section provides a quick overview of two of the domains in the Quadus 2 tool, while the third and shorter section briefly explains how to create and modify graphs of risk of bias and applicability concerns. Conversion to Quadus 2 requires active intervention by a review author. Go to the Properties icon next to the Methodological Quality table for one of the included studies. Click on the Properties icon to open the Properties dialog of the characteristics of included studies. The Conversion button can be found on the General tab. If you wish to proceed, click the Switch to Quadus 2 button to convert the review. A warning message will appear for you to confirm the conversion. The conversion cannot be undone, so only click OK if you're sure you're ready to convert the review. You can attempt to convert a copy of your review prior to converting the live review if you're unsure about the process. Let's recall the appearance of the study characteristics table from Revman 5.1. This is a snapshot of the table for one of the included studies. Following conversion to Quadus 2, this is the appearance of the table. You will notice that the labels for some text boxes have changed. For example, study design is now called patient sampling. Two text boxes, participants and clinical features, and settings have been combined into one called patient characteristics and setting. The characteristics table has been integrated with the methodological quality table such that there is only one table for each study. This was done to facilitate data entry because it was observed that there was considerable overlap between the expected content of the study characteristics table and that of the description expected for each domain of Quadus 2. Further information on these changes are available in Lesson 9.1. Although you enter data into one table for each study, when the review is published, the table will be rendered as two tables, one for the study characteristics and the other for methodological quality. To preview the tables in Revman, right-click on the study name and select View Study Characteristics. This is the preview showing the characteristics table. The items for the characteristics table have been separated from those needed for the methodological quality table. Just to recap and for comparison, here is the old characteristics table prior to conversion to Quadus 2. 
the two text boxes for clinical features and setting and participants is now one text box labeled patient characteristics and setting. Note that the text from clinical features and setting has been automatically appended to that of participants. Study design is now labeled patient sampling. At the bottom of the text box for patient characteristics and setting, there's an extra bit of text added to the bottom of the text box. The first item in the old quadus table about representative spectrum has been copied and appended to the patient characteristics and setting text box because it does not map directly to a quadus 2 domain. By automating this process, Review authors will not lose information from their review, but will need to check and edit or modify as appropriate after conversion. There are some questions in the old Quadus table that do not map directly to signaling questions in Quadus 2. The first one is blinding of the index test, which is a signaling question in the index test domain. The second is blinding of the reference standard, which is a signaling question in the reference standard domain. The third one is about differential verification, which maps to the signaling question, did all patients receive the same reference standard in the flow and timing domain. So you will have observed that data is not lost during the conversion process. Whatever text you had in the review before conversion will still be in your review after conversion. We strongly recommend that you go through the review and check that text have been copied appropriately and still make sense. Minor editing will be required to remove irrelevant text or to fix any errors. Also, check the formatting and structure of the text and the tables to ensure clarity for the reader. Also, don't forget to complete the assessment of risk of bias and applicability concerns. Quadus 2 has four domains, namely patient selection, index test, reference standard, and fluent timing. Here, they are collapsed under each study. In addition to the domains, there is a notes field, and up to three user-defined characteristics fields can be added. This is not a new feature, but was also available in Revman 5.1. The only change is where they are located for data entry. The notes and user defined fields will appear in the characteristics table when the review is published. You can preview in Revman to see the layout of these fields as I described earlier. Module 6 addresses methodological quality assessment, but in this lesson, I will briefly demonstrate two domains. Signaling questions can be added or deleted from any domain, but we recommend careful consideration of items to be added or removed. The index test domain is different. Unlike the other three domains in Quadus 2, an index test domain should be completed for each index test in the review. This is important because index tests may differ in terms of risk of bias and applicability concerns. Also, different sets of studies may have evaluated different tests, especially if the review is comparative and studies are not restricted to only comparative studies, that is, paired or randomized studies. You can create test groups to link specific tests to specific studies so that quality assessment graphs can be produced for selected subgroups. For example, different studies may have reported different tests or variations of a test. For instance, in the malaria review of rapid diagnostic tests for p falciparum, there are two antigen types, HRP2 and PLDH, different test types within each antigen type, types 1 to 3 for HRP2 and types 4 and 5 for PLDH. 
and different commercial brands within each test type. Brands, test types or antigen type can be linked to different test groups to show how the test groups compare in terms of risk of bias and applicability concerns for the index test domain. If relevant, different figures can be produced for different test groups. This may be necessary in a review of multiple tests where there are few or no comparative studies. You must select at least one study to link to a test group. There is a default test group in Revman called All Tests, which automatically links all tests to all studies in the review. The name of this test group can be edited. In this example, I have created a new test group for type 1 tests. I have selected the 10 type 1 rapid diagnostic test brands and also selected the studies that have evaluated them. I have deselected the signaling question about threshold because it is not applicable to the test in this example review. I now have two test groups. If you look beneath the index test domain for a study, you will only see the test groups linked to that study. In the index test domain, there is only one text box for entering characteristics of the index tests, irrespective of the number of test groups created and the number of tests evaluated in the review. Because of this, I suggest you structure the text in this box carefully. For instance, provide generic information first, by that I mean information that applies to all the tests, followed by information that is specific to each of the tests assessed in the study. Structured text may be helpful to the reader. There's an alternative route for accessing the characteristics of included studies dialog box. Expand the node for a study and you'll see the domains listed below the study. Either right-click on a domain name to bring up the menu for selecting the properties option or double-click to achieve the same result in one step. The second domain I want to highlight is the comparative domain. This domain is not part of Quadus 2 and does not appear by default. This domain was added in Revman as an optional extra because there may be issues of risk of bias and applicability concerns in comparative studies of test accuracy that are not captured in any of the other domains. Therefore, the domain is only applicable in reviews that compare the accuracy of two or more tests. To create the comparative domain, click on the Add Comparative Domain button, which can be found on the General tab of the Characteristics of Included Studies Properties dialog box. There are no pre-specified signaling or judgment questions for either risk of bias or applicability concerns. Review authors will need to create their own. At least one study must be selected. Up to three additional fields for the characteristics table can be defined by the user. In this example, industry sponsorship is an additional characteristic in the table. The user defined characteristics will be added just above the notes field. If you wish to see information about a particular study, right click on the study, then click Edit Study. This window will be shown displaying information such as the covariates relevant to the study, the index test group or groups to which the study belongs, and also whether or not the comparative domain has been enabled for that study. An alternative way of removing a study from a test group or from a comparative domain is by removing the tick from the corresponding checkbox. The functionality for creating graphs of risk of bias and applicability concerns have been improved. The first page of the wizard is still the same as in previous versions of Revman except that the graph 
and the summary have been renamed as Risk of Bias and Applicability Concerns Graph or the Risk of Bias and Applicability Concerns Summary to reflect the change to Quadus 2. This page of the wizard is new. The index test domain can be shown for specific test groups in addition to or instead of the test group that includes all tests and studies in the review. Here, the selected group is all tests, which is the test group to which all the studies in the review are linked. Risk of bias and applicability concerns are plotted on separate graphs in the same figure. The index test domain is always identified on the graph by the name of the test group. You will notice there is a bar missing on the applicability concerns graph for the flow and timing domain. This is because flow and timing only applies to risk of bias. Once you have created the graph, you can modify drawing options. It is now possible to show the number of studies that were scored yes, no, or unclear for each domain on the appropriate sections of the bars. You can also choose to filter the plot. This is particularly useful if the review evaluated multiple tests and the studies were not restricted to comparative studies, so different sets of studies contributed to the evaluation of each test. I've chosen to filter the plot so that the graph is restricted to studies of type 1 and type 4 tests. Now the graph is restricted to just the studies that have evaluated type 1 and type 4 tests. Separate index test domain bars were produced for type 1 and type 4 tests. Conversion is quick and easy, but you will need to complete the quality assessment. This may require going back to the primary studies to get the missing information. Please check through the review to ensure that text have been copied or merged appropriately.